Last weekend bore little resemblance to a typical May. Who would have thought, even for a moment, that what happened, happened? Mike Stevens found solid proof in the Photolink Library. The nasty weather of late has been the talk of the town. Carol Sizdek of Barnesville sent us one example of that. Actually, things were going on fairly well. A bee found a good spot to work in, and Kemi Bingham of Linville caught it. Brock Gummer of Jackson found a nice sunrise. These things, and a Mother's Day sunset over the White Deer Valley from George Slattery of Watsontown, are all the expected this time of year. Blooming trees from Nicole Frank of Tamaqua, another item on the list of the expected. But change came on little cat's feet. Four in the morning, moon over Hague's Pond in LaRaysville from Sherry Hogan. Notice the white near the bottom? You guessed it. More non-sign of the season here from Sue Tiffany of Montrose. Clayton Markham of Harford sent snow in May, plus as an added treat, a temperature of 22 degrees. Carol Sizdek of Barnesville sent a picture painted by ice on the windshield of her car. Sorry, but the bathhouse is closed for the day. It may be two. This is from Ed Burns of Scranton. Icicles on a barberry bush in New Milford from Diane Marshman. And look here. Janice Haynes of Mifflinburg writes the sprinklers at Reef's Nursery and Greenhouses were turned on overnight to protect the plants from freezing temperatures. That didn't turn out quite as planned. Good thing we've kept our sense of humor. Joanne Shields of Tobiana had a 9 a.m. tea time. Missed it. Angelina Topola of Newfoundland sent an image entitled Happy Little Snow Mane. Well, keep a stiff upper lip, won't you? Look for pictures, and if you find one, like this sunset from Amber Jones of Wilkesbury, send it on in. Stay warm. See you next time in the Photo Link Library. I'm Mike Stevens.